Finally tonight, Minecraft is not just child's play. The federal government is now using the popular video game to help kids improve their science, technology, engineering, and math skills by designing airports of the future. Here's CBS's Errol Barnett. We welcome you to DTW Airport. Real airports in a virtual world. What began as a simple idea from the FAA to engage kids stuck in isolation during the pandemic grew to include more than 2,800 students from 180 countries taking on the challenge using the video game building world of Minecraft. We have created a fully autonomous electric plane powered by solar panels. Great schoolers in Grand Rapids came up with the Space Escape Terminal. Another exciting innovation, Sandy Pop. A team from Detroit added virus detectors. We all really love building giant structures. Brothers Brian and Sean Bartello of Buffalo, New York, teamed with Abby Rowe of West Virginia to design runway lights at Charleston's Jaeger Airport. They really like the bioluminescent fungi. That's right. Two 11-year-olds and a 9-year-old came up with bioluminescent fungi. They give off a, a lot of light and they're eco-friendly. Please help me congratulate the West Virginia Mountaineers. And those bright lights gave them bragging rights as they won in their age group. But what they prize most? Making new connections during a disconnected time. In one word, meaningful. Even